Hi, in today's video, we are talking about electrophile and nucleophile. Electrophile and nucleophile are two types of chemical species that donates and accept electrons to form a chemical bond. Moreover, the reaction mechanism occurring between electron, donor, and acceptor is the best described by the electrophile and the nucleophile. Electrophile and nucleophile are first described in 1933, and these replace the older terms such as catenoid and anenoid. By moving on, we have electrophile. What are electrophile? The word electrophile is made from electro, that is trying from electron, and phile, which means loving here. So any molecule, ion, or atom that is deficient in electrons in some manner can act as an electrophile. Moreover, they are generally positively charged or they can be neutral species also with an empty orbital. Electrophile can accept a couple of electrons. So basically, electrophiles are electron loving species. They are electron deficient. That is why they love the electrons. So here we have some examples of electrophiles. Electrophiles are electrons deficient. Their octet of central atom is not complete at all. And moreover, they can be positively charged and neutral also. We have H positive at first. Now, H positive is electron deficient. It has a positive charge also. That is why this H positive will act as an electrophile. The next example we have is CH3. Now, this CH3 has a positive charge and the carbon here is electron deficient. It has six electrons rather than eight electrons. So the central atom is also deficient with the electrons and its octet is not complete. That is why the CH3 will act as an electrophile here. Moreover, the other examples are acelium ion. Acelium ion is RC double bond O here. This ion also has a positive charge on this carbon atom. Carbon is the central atom here. Carbon is a central atom here. Its octet is not complete and it also has a positive charge. That is why this acelium ion is also acting as an electrophile here. So here, there are also some neutral species that act as an electrophile. Say, for example, we have BF3, BH3, then we have ALCL3, FECL3. These all are the species that are neutral in nature, but still they are acting as an electrophile. Here you can see the structure of boron trifluoride. Here we have fluorine, here we have fluorine, here we have fluorine. The p orbital of this boron is vacant. Moreover, here this boron has a partial positive charge because we know these fluorines are highly electronegative species. They will attract the electrons towards them self due to attraction of electrons they will got the negative charge and this boron will got a positive charge on it uh, boron's octet is also not complete so this is a reason that is why boron trifluoride is also acting as an electrophile the word nucleophile is made from two words nucleo drive from the nucleus and file, which means loving. Species that attack the positive side of the substrate or love the nucleus are called as nucleophile. In nucleus of an atom, we know there are protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive charge and neutrons have no charge. Nucleophiles are actually electrons with species. Moreover, a nucleophile is a reactant which gives an electron pair to form a covalent bond. So nucleophiles are electron-rich species that loves to donate the electron. A nucleophile is usually negatively charged or is neutral with a long couple of donatable electrons. Here are the some examples of the nucleophiles. Nucleophiles can be negatively charged. They are electron-rich species. Octet of central atom is complete. They can be negatively charged or neutral. So here, at first, let's take the examples of negatively charged species. At first, we have example of which negative, which has three lone pairs. Moreover, it also have a negative charge. So it's an electron-rich species. It likes to donate its electrons. The next example we have is CN negative, C triple bond N, where they have a lone pair also. It's an electron-rich species because they are donating the electrons. So that is why, again, they will act as a nucleophile. Moreover, chlorine, bromine, thiol, these all actually act as the nucleophile because they are negatively charged. They are electron-rich species. 
their octets are also complete. Now we have neutral nucleophiles also. Say for example, we have alkene here. Alkenes have pi bond. This pi bond is easily polarizable and moreover donatable. That is why alkenes act as an alkyne also have pi bonds. These pi bonds are again very polarizable, donatable. So this um, alkyne also act as a nucleophile. Benzene also act as a nucleophile. It donates its electron. These all are the examples of neutral nucleophiles. Now it's time to conclude our today's lecture. In today's lecture, we talk about electrophiles and nucleophiles. We represent electrophile with a positive charge and nucleophile with a negative charge. Electrophile is electron lover. Why they are electron lover? Because they are deficient in the electrons. Nucleophile. Nucleophiles are the nucleus lover. They are the protein lovers. Nucleophiles are electron rich species. On the other hand, the octet of the central atom for electrophile is not complete, but the octet of the central atom of nucleophile is complete. Moreover, the electrophiles are positively charged and they can be neutral also. And these nucleophiles, they can be negatively charged and they are neutral neutral also. So yes, this is all about electrophiles and nucleophiles. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.